Hi, welcome to practice. My name is Cindy Walker. This is PM Energizing Series. It's a combination of slow sun salutations, seated and standing poses to energize you at the end of the day, right? Quite often we come home from our daily activities and we have no energy for the rest of the evening. This series will give you energy to get through the night and to sleep beautifully through the night. So, to begin our practice, you will need a few props. Please grab a bolster, a block, a strap, and an eye pillow, and put them off to the side. We will begin this practice with a few moments of silent meditation. So I'll have you come to a comfortable seated position. I'm sitting in Sukhasana, a cross-legged position. If you like that, please come to that. Palms of the hands come down to relax over the knees. Chest lifts up, crown of the head lifts up, and then a tiny pinch of the shoulder blades behind you and a tiny lift up of the abdomen. When you've got all of that and you're feeling upright and tall, simply close the eyes. And as you close the eyes, begin to breathe in and out of the nose in calm, long, steady breaths. One of the best things we can do to energize after a long day is actually to sit and breathe deeply. Breathing has the obvious function of oxygenating our blood, which naturally energizes, motivates our physical, mental body. So we stay in this meditation for a bit of time simply to allow the natural processes of our physical being to take place. Long, deep, calm, steady breaths. Three-part breath if you know it. Filling the chest, the diaphragm, the belly. Emptying the belly, releasing the chest, expelling out of the lungs through the nose. Good. So drop the chin to the chest, let the head hang heavily, and then carefully roll the right ear to the right shoulder, let the head drop, make the left shoulder heavy. Keep the eyes closed for a bit longer and then carefully bring the chin right back to the chest and then slowly over to the left shoulder, left side. Pause here for a moment. Good, chin comes back to the chest heavily. We're gonna take a full neck roll all the way around to the right, let the head go back. To the left, let it be heavy and back to center, chin to the chest. And then slowly we'll reverse, left ear to the left side, head goes back, right side, chin comes down. Chin eventually comes back to center, eyes open, hands come to prayer at heart center. Fingertips to the third eye for a moment. And release. We're going to start our practice in deer pose, which is a nice hip stretching, twisting series. So you're going to take your feet, just like I have mine, squared, right knee back, left foot in front. You're going to pause for a moment, and we're simply going to take this right hip and lift and lower a couple of times. And it's natural for it to feel a little bit achy. So take it down, sit it down for a moment, and then we're going to twist right towards that tight, right hip. You're going to take your gaze down for a second, look down for a second, feel this awkward twist, but it's going right into that hip and low back, so it's good. And then release. We're going to take a freer twist to the left. The right hip is going to come up, you're going to plant the hands and drop the chin to the chest for a second here. Good, we're gonna come back to center and then just switch the legs. So coming to our deer pose, second side, 
And again, the hip is going to come up and down. And you might notice that the second side has the same sensation, more or less, especially if you have an injury or something going on on this side. And then sit that hip down. Take the shorter twist to the left. Hold. Good. Release slowly. Unwind through the belly. Let that left hip come up. Take a deep twist to the right. Pause. Very good. Unwind carefully. We're going to come right into our butterfly pose for a moment. So feet together, hands to drop to the floor, and then let the head drop to the toes. Close the eyes for a moment. Begin to trace the backbone. Begin to trace the back muscles with long, deep breaths. Really release the top of the head towards the feet so the neck gets a stretch. The end of the day, we always feel like the head, the neck, the shoulders are carrying so much tension. This simple pose done quietly helps to release fatigue and tightness, freeing up chi energy into the body. Strangely enough, relaxing like this actually energizes us. Take another breath. Good, from the pit of the belly, round up, roll up, one backbone at a time. Hands to prayer, sit high on the sit bones for a second. Lengthen, reach tall through the sternum. Good, we're gonna spin around and come on to our hands and our knees. Plant the hands nice and wide. Plant the knees comfortably wide. And then take the right foot back. So you're gonna flex the right foot, heel up, toes down and you're gonna stay right here for a second. Now energize the leg from the hip to the heel. Feel strong and long in the arms, in the torso, in the leg, and then we're gonna kick the bum a couple of times on an exhale. So it's hinge at the knee, extend. Exhale, inhale. Three. Two, last one, kick out. Now we're gonna hinge at the knee and step up to the ceiling, flex the foot and simply hold. Press into the hands, reach the sternum forward, gaze steady, all 10 fingers, all 10 knuckles down. Hold, 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 reach up a little higher. So you crunch into the back of the hip, you crunch into the butt cheek for another second. Good, and then melt that right knee down, set it close to the left, maybe hips distance, round the back for a moment, pull the belly to the spine, extend the back for a moment, look up, tail up. Once again, round everything, really pull that belly to the backbone. Once again, really extend, look up. Last time, round. Last time, extend the spine. Good, from a neutral spine, maybe the right knee comes to center as the left leg reaches out of the left hip. Now you're active again through the foot. So squeeze the thigh, the knee, the shin, and really flex, toes down, heel up. Energize, feel those muscles hugging the bones. For another second, press into the hands, upper chest engaged, and now we kick the butt cheek on an exhale. Three, two, one. Hold for a second. Energize again. Don't let the hands or the chest collapse. And then hinge at the knee, bend the knee. Step the foot up to the ceiling until you feel that low back contract. Just hold. Just hold. It should be mildly uncomfortable. Balancing, strengthening all at once. Hold, hold, hold. Very good, step it down. For one second, child's pose. Stretch those hips to the heels, stretch the arms long. The low back also gets very fatigued. 
This stretch is so amazing for rehabilitating low back muscles. Nice. Come back through the hands and the knees. Separate them comfortably wide. Step the left hand to center. Take the right hand high to the sky. And then thread the arm under. Take the left arm up as the right lands. Hold for a breath. Good, come on down. Left hand plants, right hand plants. Pause for a moment. And then carefully, left arm goes up. Good, thread the eye of the needle. Left goes under, land on the shoulder. Right goes up and back, hold. Nice. Unwind in your own time. Coming back to the hands and the knees. Pause for a breath. Stabilize here. And then very slowly sneak the right foot forward to the top of the mat. We're going to pause in a deep lunge, and then we're going to shift back into a half split. So we're going to move with rhythm here. Inhale forward. Exhale back. A couple of times. Inhale forward. Exhale, lengthen the spine, look to the knee. Forward again. Back again. Two more. Forward lunge. Backward. One more. We're going to pause backwards for a moment in what we call half Hanumanasan. Ardha Hanumanasan is a half split. You're going to really feel your hamstrings and your gluteals. Great. We're going to release back to that lunge. This time you're going to stack the right knee on the right ankle. You're going to take your hands to your thighs. You're going to pause for a moment. If you're cozy here, you'll stay. Otherwise, you'll reach up and gaze up. Hold. Good. Step the hands down. We're going to pivot towards the left, and you're going to come into a straddle Stretch. Legs wide, toes in, heels out, just hold. Couple of breaths. Feel for the back of the legs. Feel for the front of the legs. Feel for the dangling of the spine. Nice big breaths. Remember what I said. We're actively oxygenating the blood that naturally builds energy. Unwinding back to the runner's lunge, right side. Carefully drop the back knee. Carefully step the right knee back. Left foot forward. Nice deep lunge for a second. And then when you're ready, lunge forward and then reach back with the tailbone, straighten the left leg. And then with fluidity, forward and back. It never really matters how fast or slow you go. I mean, you can certainly count out. But really what matters is that you're paying attention to how your body feels and you're breathing with the movement. So let's take maybe one or two more. Good, lunge. Sit back one more time. Lengthen. Feel it, don't run from the sensation. Maybe back out if it's too intense, right? It's the end of the day, don't push. Good. And then carefully come forward to your runner's lunge, but this time you have form and alignment. You're stacking the knee over the ankle, and maybe you're resting here. Maybe you're taking it high to the sky, stretching the arms. Maybe you're gazing up. Good, coming back down. We're going to spin to the left side into your straddle stretch. And you're going to hover here for a few breaths. Really breathing into the low back, really breathing into the kidneys. Let the head and the neck just dangle. For two more breaths. For one more breath. 
Good. We're going to return to our runner's lunge and carefully come back to a child's pose. As you come to your child's pose, have your arms be super long, your hands planted, your tailbone, your hips super heavy. Good. From here, we're going to shift back to our down dog from all fours. And so when you're ready, straighten the arms, straighten the legs, hold your down dog here for a moment. Feel for these achy bones, feel for these achy muscles. Just hold the pose. Much of yoga is really just about staying in the pose and breathing. It's that beautiful combination of attention, breath, and the bodily pose that does the work. So just stay here for another second. Good. Right foot is gonna step through to the top of the mat. Left foot is gonna square. You're gonna windmill the arms to your warrior two and pause. Now activate the arms, energize the legs, root the feet, pause. Take a huge breath, feel the elongation of everything everywhere and then reverse your warrior, hold. Good, extend your warrior, arms parallel if you can, hold. Energize, hold. Warrior two for another second. Good, we're gonna come right to the second side. So you're gonna crisscross the hands in front of you, pivot the feet. Warrior two. Good, reverse your warrior. Stretch, really get the blood flowing into all these nooks and crannies. Especially if you've worked all day, you wanna to start to move these muscles and bones, energizing them just through blood flow and movement and then extend your warrior. You can always land. I love to stretch out. Warrior two again, pause. Good, we're gonna to pivot to center. So you'll crisscross the hands again. You'll angle the toes in, the heels out, and then you'll come to tabletop. You'll dangle all the way down, shake out the head, adjust the width of your feet. Toes in, heels out. Nice big breaths as we're using big muscles. Right hand will plant to the floor or a block. Good, reaching that left arm high and up, hold. Good, carefully unwinding, planting that left hand, pushing off the left hand, right hand high. Activating the arms, the legs, the torso, the breath. Very good, coming back down, dangling, shake the head. Nice, pivoting back around into a runner's lunge, right side, downward facing dog, hold. Good, right foot, right leg lifts high to the sky, hold. Right ankle circles around a few times one way, a few times the other way. Flex the right foot, lean, reach it high and up, and then step it all the way through top of the mat. So this time we're gonna stay high on the back toes. You're gonna pause for a second. And then from here, we're gonna come to Ardha Virbhadrasana three, half warrior three. So you're gonna step the hands forward, straighten the right leg, lift the left, square the hips, hold. When you've had enough, 
step all the way back to the runner's lunge, pause, and then down dog, hold. Good, when you're ready, center, step into the right foot, left leg goes up, extension, and then circle through the ankle a few times one way, a few times the other. Flex the foot, reach up. Very good, step it all the way through, top of the mat, pause for a second. Preparing for this half warrior three. So really rooting into the left foot, set the hands forward parallel, lift the right, hold. Last breath. Good. Step back, runner's lunge, and carefully return to down dog. Hold for a moment or two. Good. Bend the knees, bounce once or twice, hop, step, or float, feet to the fingers. Separate the feet, hips distance, forward fold, Uttanasana. Bend the knees, baby chair, hands to prayer. Little pulses here on an exhale. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands to prayer. Half sun salute. Inhale, rise. Exhale, bow. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, bow again. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands to prayer. Once again, inhale, rise. Exhale, bow. Halfway up. Forward fold. Inhale, rise again. Exhale. Hands to prayer, little chair. One more time, pulse. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, rise. Exhale, come back to chair. Inhale, rise. Exhale, back to chair. Last time. Inhale, shoot up strong and long, arms and legs. Circle the hands back to prayer at the heart, chair. Prayer twist to the right, hold. Center, prayer twist to the left side, hold. Good, center, last time, inhale, rise, exhale, forward fold. Dangle for a moment, shake out the head. Go ahead and bend and straighten both knees a couple of times. Bend both knees, tiny little squat, hold. Big breath or two. We're about to prepare for standing splits, really stretching the body long. So take a breath or two here to really, really energize. Good, straighten the legs one more time, forward fold. Heel toe, heel toe, the feet together. Balancing in that left foot, set the hands forward. Right leg goes high to the sky. Look towards the left knee. Maybe scoop the left hand around the left ankle, if not hand by the foot. Hold. Good, from here, 
parallel the hands, flex the right foot, kick and straighten. Three, two, last one. Good, slowly step that left foot down, pause, take a big breath or two. And then carefully step and center the right foot. And again, hands parallel, left leg goes up, and maybe grab the right ankle. Maybe not. Good, flex that left foot, kick one, two, three, four, last kick, five. Step it all the way down, forward fold, last breath or two here. Good, halfway up, Ardha Uttanasana, pause. Forward fold one more time for a hamstring and an IT band stretch. So you're gonna pick up the right foot, cross it over the left with the legs comfortably straight. You're just gonna forward fold. It's gonna feel super awkward and it's gonna really feel intense on that left leg hold. Good, that's enough. I think you've cooked that side. Let's change. So right foot roots, pick up the left leg, cross it over the right foot, straighten the legs, right side fires up. Nice, when you're ready, unwind, bend the knees, tiny little toe balance. So plant the hands, bend the knees, reach high on the tippy toes, holding on to a prop if you have one, or hands to prayer. Lengthen the spine. Good, and when you've had enough, simply set down. We're gonna take the legs out in front of us. Lift the flesh from the sit bones, and simply forward fold for a moment. Rounding up slowly. Scooting to the center of your mat. Reach for your props. Option to use a block. You will definitely need a bolster under your thighs and an eye pillow or something over your eyes. And then for a moment here, stretch out and relax. Let everything get heavy and maybe take several deep breaths to encourage, to invite the body to begin to let go. Quite often what energizes us the most when we've had a full day is simply by letting go. Relaxation frees up pent-up energy. This whole series, this PM energizing series was designed to do just that, but this is the final letting go. Shavasana, deep relaxation. Begin to circle through the ankles and the wrists. Good. And then you'll remove the eye pillow if you have one. 
You'll pull the right knee in and the left knee, give them a squeeze, maybe rock from right to left. Blink the eyes to open gradually. Rolling to one side, gently dragging the body up and coming around to sit in Sukhasana. And fingertips to the third eye. Namaste. Thanks for joining me today. I hope to see you on the mat again soon.